Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Brunswick County, Georgia, as well, Lana attempts to do an audit on the uh, school board transportation department. But it doesn't work out too well for poor old Lana because they get booted out of there. Because why would you want to audit anything having to do with the school? Anyway, Lana, I mean, come on, get real. Oh, wait, I forgot who I was talking about here for a moment. This person's a frauditor and they believe that the world owes them something. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. At Free Press. Free Press? Yeah. Okay. And who are you? I'm Diane Herndon. Oh, are you a... Dispatcher. Dispatcher. Oh, I got you. Dispatcher for the buses? Yes. Oh, cool. You like it? Yes, I do. Good. Good. Excellent. Um, Y'all signage is a little off back there. Um, this is a private building. Oh, is it uh, private? Yes. Oh, it's not open to the public? No, ma'am. Oh, is it uh, owned by Glen County? Yes, ma'am. So how can it be private? Well, it's not open to the public. Oh, it, it looks like it is. No, it's not. Yeah, I mean, it, it's wide open. Don't you in any way? Oh, no, no, just taking pictures, yeah. Of you right now. I can't, who, well, only one at a time. Now, why would you think that a school board transportation department would be open to the public? I mean, it's dealing with the school board, and generally things that are school board related are not open to the public, and for very good reason. You're dealing with... Well, a lot of information that deals with students, a.k.a. our younglings, and I'm sure there are a lot of parents out there that would hate to see you roaming around this place because, well, you know how parents can be. Who's, who's asking questions? I can't, asking I can't really see her. How, who are you needing? Uh, nobody. She actually was asking me questions. I didn't ask anybody for anything. So. Okay, well, they were saying you were here in the back? Yeah, can I show you something real quick? Can you show me something? Yeah, can I show you something real quick? Yeah. Sure. And I'll point it out for you real quick. Okay, before we go, we can actually clear, close the door and I'll show you. You see that right there? Mm-hmm. Office personnel only? Mm-hmm. What does that say over there? Okay. It's what, not what a locked door. Point? Well, that, it's open to the public. That door is not open to the public. So why is it wide week. open? One moment, please. Oh, one moment. <laughs> it is not open to the public during the week okay. and school is in session. Oh. School is not in session so, today. So it should be locked then, right? No, it should be open today. Oh, okay. So it's open to the public then. What are you getting at? Pardon me, ma'am, but... uh. I work with people like you all day long. Uh, yeah, I just want to explain to you that uh, Lana here is one of these people that really doesn't have a very good education to begin with and doesn't understand the concept that uh, there might be buildings out there that are not open to the public because of security issues. Uh, that is a foreign concept to this one right here. So you might want to watch out for uh, this particular person. She's standing right here and over there and then down. Bye, y'all. What, what's, why is it so scary with a camera? I'm just kind of curious. It's kind of confusing. Do you, do you have any business here? I do. Okay, what was your business? Well, you're coming off kind of rude, so I'm going to refrain from telling you. So, I already identified to her. I already told her what was going on, so. Okay. She won't come and watch this here. I already told you. I told her. What? And that was what? Freedom of the Press. Oh, okay. Lana, you're not exactly a member of the press. In fact, you are very unprofessional as a member of the press because a member of the press, an actual member of the press, would go through the local school board's media department before engaging in this kind of manner, you dumbass. Because there is a process for letting the press 
film in certain areas. That way, they don't film anything that, well, doesn't need to be shown to the public, such as the transportation department right here, because, well, there are computers with sensitive information on it that contain the names and locations of every child in that county. And that is one good reason why somebody like you should not be allowed in that building to begin with. How are y'all? Oh, yeah. How are you? How are you? Good, you? Yeah, good. Can I help you with something? No, no, absolutely not. Are you, uh, are you a law enforcement agency? Yes, I am. Officer. And what's your name, sir? Jim Thomas. Uh, and what's your badge number? Zero two. All right, thank you so much. No, I don't. And I am the acting chief. Oh, absolutely. Sounds good. Well, is there something that we can help you with today? No, no. Is there something you can? Am I doing something wrong or? Uh, did she do something wrong? She just walked in, came in with a camera, and uh, nobody saw. I think you ended up going that way. Yeah, but as you can see right here, see how they've got signs here, office okay. personnel. -ing. Look down that door, and there's something. Okay. What well, did you check with the receptionist? No, no, she didn't really check with the receptionist to see if it was okay to do so because, well, she thinks that she has freedom of the press. She thinks that it grants her the right to do anything she damn well pleases. And we all know that freedom of the press doesn't exactly mean that. I mean, it basically means that you have the right to publish your story without government interference. It doesn't mean that... You can stomp on everybody else's rights, you dipshit. Well, it says right here, office personnel only. So stop before I go through that door, basically. But there's okay. nothing back there on that door, so. Did you go through that door? I did. Okay, why? Uh, because it's open to the public. No, it's not open to the public. Well, the way the law reads, it's either a locked door, it, key it door, or sign. It's not open to the public, and it is a key door was wide open, sir. Okay, well, that doesn't mean that you can just walk in anywhere. If I go to your house... That's private property. Can I walk in there? So you're, you're basically it's public and... property that's right, right now. As far as your filming is concerned, I'm not going to bite on that. Not going to bite on what? Yeah, on your, your, your baiting people up here. Everybody knows what baiting you're Baiting people? What's that yeah, mean, sir? exactly what you're doing. You want to you get a reaction, okay? A reaction? I was literally walking out the door and she flipped out on me, sir. Well, as far as your filming is concerned... You can stand out there on the public right away and film all that you want to. But Chief, that just makes way too much damn sense that you can film outside, but you can't film inside of a building with confidential information in it that could lead to, oh, say, children going missing. Because I know Lana wouldn't do that. But what about other people that might just, well, think it was a good idea to follow what Lana did and uh, go further in and uh, access a computer? You see, Lana, this is what happens when you take an argument to a logical conclusion. Because, like I said, there's a lot of sensitive information in here. And if people were allowed to come in here willy-nilly, yeah, that's the result that could happen. So, Lana, take that uh, little attitude of yours. Uh, turn it sideways and shove it up where the sun don't shine. Okay. okay. But do you have business here? I do. What is your business? I've already explained it to these people. I'm asking you now, what is your business? Press. Explain it to me. I Freedom of press. This. Well, you, you're what kind of getting the, a little hostile right now. What does the press have to do? So I'm going to refrain from answering more questions because it seems like you're getting hostile with me. No, so I'm not hostile. I'm not going to take your bait, sir. Am I hostile? No, sir. Right. I'm just trying to clarify what your business here is. I've already explained it to this kind of gentleman over here. Well, right now you're disrupting operations. How am I disrupting him? Because now you have this man who's having to spend his time out here dealing with you. Oh, I didn't call because him out apparently here. apparently you're trying to bait everybody else up out here. How am I baiting you, sir? I never right. approached anybody in here. And she approached me and she said something to me. Right, because you're in here filming. Is it illegal? This is, an, this is part of an educational facility. Is, is, this, is this illegal? Uh, for you to come in here and disrupt and trespass, yes. How am I disrupting it, sir? Oh, yeah, trespass. It certainly wouldn't be Lana's first time. In fact, I do believe last year you ended up getting trespassed and arrested at a prison facility. Am I correct? Oh, yeah, I am correct. Uh, Everybody saw that one. You want her on this property? 
I think we've had enough time. I mean, she's been courted, but she came in unannounced, didn't ask any questions. Do I have to announce things for civil rights? We have a process, you know. Yeah, but is it illegal? Is this illegal? Yeah, me coming in here. You have a legitimate reporting. reason for being here, but just I coming do. in here and filming everybody is not a legitimate reason. So freedom of press is not a reason? This has nothing to do with freedom of tra press, ma'am. Oh, what is it about? Nothing. It has to do with you coming in here and filming in an unauthorized area. Do, do I have Do I have anything you on my I have the right oh, to come I, I thought my, the building. Well, you keep, you keep telling me what my intentions are. I didn't know if it was written on me. Do I have anything written okay. on me? I don't think so, yeah. So how do you know what my intentions are? Okay, we're not going to stand here and argue with you all day. I wasn't planning on it. Okay. Do you, you came have in legitimate business here? I keep telling you yes. Okay, you filmed enough. What what is it that you're looking What's well, is there a time limit on civil rights? Uh this the way is the not definition civil what, 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 to what time what time do you disrupt. close, sir? You're right, Chief. This really has nothing to do with civil rights. In fact, uh Lana has no idea what civil rights actually are and and wouldn't know them if they came up and bit them in the ass. How do you close, sir? Our hours run until five. Okay, so until the business closes, it's a time, place, manner. So I'm allowed in here. Catrone v. Oh. St. Petersburg is actually specifically uh, what gives me the right to come in here in a public place. But you have to you have to make it known for the this, public. This is government property, ma'am. Open That's to the public. Public? No, it's not government. Reasons. Who owns the government, sir? It is legitimately open to the public. Right, because it's public for property. For legitimate reasons. That's right. They call when it a. Come in here. It's called a limited film. public forum, sir. That's what do they consider need, this. Well, do we? Oh my goodness, Lana. You can't be that damn stupid. You just destroyed your entire argument right there by calling this a limited public forum. So basically, you just admitted without realizing it that, uh, well, they can kick you out of here. So why don't you make like a tree and leave? You need to be arrested. I don't know. Are you threatening to arrest me? If, if this man here, I am, I am an entity of the Board of Education. Okay. Now, we're asking you now to leave this property. So if I don't leave, what's going to happen? Then we'll have to arrest you for trespassing. So I would if, rather not do that. So if I don't leave right this second, you'll arrest me? If you don't re leave within a reasonable amount of time, we've well, asked you to well, leave. Well, what's the reasonable time, sir? Is it not until the business closes when it's no, open? It's not. So time, place, manner means it's no, open it's for business. Are y'all not it's open not. for business? Yes, yeah, not. So he had, we, we were having a nice well, cordial conversation. We are open for business. So we, well, we're not having a cordial conversation. Is not business. Yeah, the conversation's been cordial. Okay, so why are you coming? Why is he coming in hot on me? Is I'm not hostile. You are very hostile. You just threatened to arrest me if I didn't leave. I know. I just told you what the repercussions are going to be if we can't resolve this. You have no reason to be here other than to cause trouble. That's your intent. Who, who, and you know it. And oh, I know so you it. know you know what my, my intent is then. Your intent is obvious. How is it obvious? It is obvious. What makes it obvious? It is obvious because of the way that you're acting. There is no legitimate reason. Have we reason had, for have you we to had be a here. cordial conversation? Yeah, but every. Uh, I told you who I was. I told you where I was here. I even identified good. myself as I mean, press. I know that's sufficient. So how is that? Well, it's just... It, See, that, that confuses me, that, that he's coming in so hot. Well, Lana, you're always easily confused considering that you're a complete and total uh, moron who, well, thinks they know the law but doesn't know jack shit about anything anyway. But let's go ahead and skip to the part where she is forced to leave or will be arrested because you know this circular argument just gets so damn tiresome many many minutes later because he's fairly new he didn't realize okay. that well, as soon as she comes out with the police then I'll, I'll talk to him because you're obviously not the boss he's identified himself as the no, manager. i'm the lead dispatcher oh, okay and i lock up the doors when it's time to go okay so i'm doing my job okay he says it's you close at five well, you can stand outside okay. and wait for him okay you close at five that's what he no, just said we do not he just told me we that are, you close at today five it's a holiday and we are closing What's the holiday? at two today. It's the fall break. Okay, well, as soon as he comes out. You can have us. Okay, as outside. soon as he says that you close at five. No. Right now it is 1400. I still have three and hours. And you can step outside and wait for us. Okay, okay. As, soon as, as soon as I talk to him. Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. I know that. What's his name? That is his name, sir. Asshole, major asshole. So you just told me you closed at five, and now you're locking it up early. Well, I forgot we're not on a normal school day. We don't have. Are you doing that on my, my account? No. I mean, I'll look online and see. So. 
Yeah. You can look online all you want. We got oh, shifts yeah. that come early and shifts yeah. that come late, but yeah. we don't have afternoon runs. So what's the week. holiday that you're close? Usually it's on a Monday. Why is it so weird to be Tuesday? They did a fall break. We had a Friday, Monday, So it's Tuesday, this whole week. The whole weekend. No, we go, we'll go back to normal operation tomorrow. Kids be back in. So it's this Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, Friday last but Friday. But you said 5 o'clock, and it just seems like it's kind of weird that y'all are all of a sudden knowing that you can't you can't violate rights to kick me out of a public lobby or using the clothes in the business instead. No, that's just... It was a misspeech on my part. I all forgot right. we didn't have buses this afternoon. So. so everybody's going home? Yep. All the office people are locking it down now. I'll close the shop up in just a few minutes. Hey, hey, Lana, is this the trying to prove how stupid you are because a professional learning day basically means that all the teachers are getting together for something that they have to learn. Uh, teachers are always having to learn new skills, you know, so I'm sure it comes down to the fact that, well, somebody's coming in to train the teachers on something so therefore there are going to be no students that day and therefore the transportation department will be closing early that day because well they have those no students to transport you dipshit moron but at any rate uh i hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?